So overall, I think that um, we, we started with a season um, not, not so good, but then toward the end of the season, it was, I see a lot of improvement and um, a lot of good energy toward the end. Um, we ended up in a better place like uh, compared to the last year. So I think that it was good. I think a lot of girls improved their skills a lot. Um, and um, with some of them, I'm very proud and very happy to see them like even grow and improve and um, so. Overall, Jamie, uh, the season was everything that I expected. Um, we had our ups and downs like every program does, but when I came in, um, I really didn't know what to expect off the bat. But when the girls, when we finally got the team as one, uh, we pretty much set certain goals for us. And we pretty much accomplished every single one of those goals. Uh, we have to keep in mind where uh, the program was, uh, where it is now, and what kind of future it's going to have. And I can tell you that the future looks very bright for these young girls. Well, it's, it's been a fun season for us. It's been an exciting season for us. I mean, to, to bring a, a cross-country championship in, it you know, hasn't happened in a long time. To be part of that history and tradition at school has been amazing. Um, you know, it's really been um, a process that, you know, uh, of, of you know, putting in the work and hiring the staff. And, um, you know, it's just been a tremendous outcome, uh, one that we didn't expect, but, you know, obviously fought hard, hard for. And, um, you know, uh, a credit to, to the athletes and to the coaching staff. Um, so I think that um, a lot of re returning players should um, be good to go and should set up, step up. Um, particularly, I think uh, Camila has a very good opportunity to be the captain, to be the leader. Also, uh, one of our liberos, Liana, um, Leslie also. So I think uh, with their hard work, um, they should be able to um, improve even more and be at a better place because I I hope that like for next year they're even better than like this season this year. I, I expect for us to be at the big dance. Uh, as a coach uh, you expect nothing less. That's why you coach. It's in your DNA. If you don't wake up in the morning and say I'm gonna win a championship, why are you coaching? That's just what we do as coaches. Um, I think the girls are anticipating a very good season, a tough season. We have some great non-conference matchups coming up. Uh, I, I expect for this uh, 2017 team to really uh, uh, stamp their name in the conference. I think we're gonna do well, hopefully. On, on the women's side, uh, really, uh, unexpected that we were able to qualify for the NCAA regionals. Uh, we had you know, small issues in terms of assembling the team because we were small in numbers, uh, but we were able to get the numbers together and, and really, really shock a lot of people on that side uh, in terms of being able to get to the NCAA regionals. And, uh, but on, and on the men's side, um, obviously, um, you know, we're able to add some, some very, very critical pieces to the, to the boys' team, and um, you know, they, they were able to put together a really special season. And uh, again, it was a collaborative effort, coaching staff, athlete, and uh, you know, we were able to bring a championship in cross country. I think if you're looking for one word, I say we underachieved. <laughs> <laughs> you might like more words. You know, I feel that a team of 10 returning seniors out of 11 from a team that won a CUNY championship and this year we lost in the quarters. So that's on me. You know what I'm saying? Because the talent is there. That's where the coach has to push the right buttons on a motivational type of situation where you have athletes that are good and I think better than any of the ones in the other teams. I mean, anybody in CUNY can win any year because yeah, you can come up with excuses or variables of what might have happened. But we had a group of 10 out of 11, we play with 11 in soccer, and we have some bench players, but 
10 out of 11 were juniors and they won the CUNY championships and they all returned. No injuries, no excuses. We didn't achieve, we lost in the quarters. I said that to me when I look at that and when I thought about the season, that's not me. I gotta push the right buttons to make that motivational button work that this is as important as it was last year for you to win the championship again because we had the ability to do it. We have really good players and we had some very good victories. But I think going down the stretch, you needed to really want to win it again. And you've already won it and now you're a senior and you do have other things on your mind your senior year. You know, you have 11 guys, 12 guys, as well, one didn't start, but that have other things now on their mind. They already won a community championship. And now, but again, that's, that's on the coach. <laughs> that's on me. You know, we had the talent. There's no, there's no, and you talk to the players. They feel that they underachieve too. You know, we have all, we all have our own um, individual responsibilities. But that's what I get paid to do. Coach gets paid to do those things, you know, so it's on me, it's not on that. The sadness was that they're all gonna graduate and you have a relationship with every single one of them. That's the part that hurts, it's not the, you know what I'm saying, that you, you're not gonna see them again. You, you are, but you're not really gonna see them again. They're gonna go on for the rest of their lives and you know, this is such a really, really small part of their 70 years of existence, let's say. But still, for that moment, you're sad. You're sad for them, really, you know? And for the connection, the relationship that you have with each one of them, which is different than the one you have with the other one.
only